Hey everyone, it's Asa, and welcome to my video for Shop, Odds, Inflection Points. Inflection Points sounds fancy, but it simply means when is it better to roll on a certain level compared to another level. So, these are the Shop Odds basics. Uh, on level 4, you have a 55% chance of 1 cost, 30% chance of 2 cost, 15% chance of 3 cost, and of course you can't see 4 cost or 5 cost on level 4. So, this is basically, um, I'll just go through some very common scenarios. The first one, there is a common sentiment that you should roll down to 33 gold for a one cost reroll. Um, you should do this if you think there's a chance you can hit your three star on that turn. However, it's a pretty common scenario if you're playing something like crew reroll, where you're just too far off. You're for sure not going to hit. Uh, in this case, it's better to stay 50 gold. Uh, the reason is if you roll down to 33, what happens is you lose 2 gold of Econ on that round instead of making 50, um, which is a full shop, and then you're going to make 40 on the next round, so you're going to lose about half a shop on the next round. So you lose about 1.5 shops. The advantage is that you see more level 4 shops. However, um, if we look at math difference, I was already playing around with some of this earlier, but basically, because you'll be buying units you'll see about five more shops on level four. Basically, the difference being you have a 10% higher chance per slot. So basically, you'll see about five more shops. Uh, you'll have five slots, so five times five. And then each one is about 10% chance higher. So you'll see about 2.5 more one cost in those five, using those five rolls on level four instead of level five. However, by losing two gold and then one gold, you're losing three gold. You're losing about one and a half shops. In one and a half shops, so 1.5 shops times five slots per shop, at level five, which you would use these rolls at instead, we can see that uh, you'll see on about three and a half one cost. So again, by seeing five extra shops on level four compared to level five, we're seeing two and a half one cost extra. But if we just use that three extra gold, despite the reduced odds, overall, we're still seeing more one costs. Um, it's not a huge difference either way. Again, the reason a lot of players recommend rolling down lower on level four is if you're close to hitting, you can spike immediately, and that's pretty valuable. However, if you're not close to hitting your um, let's say you have like four Malphites, four Sivers, with 50 gold left, you should definitely stop at 50. Um, some other inflection points, uh, level 6 versus level 7 is a very common one where you're playing two cost reroll, however your board doesn't really fit until level 7, you really want that extra unit in. Um, this could be something like Zaya Bastions, for example. On level 6, you're playing Zaya plus 5 Bastion. Uh, so you kind of really want to get to level 7 to play Zion 6 Passion. However, the downside is you have reduced odds. So how bad is this? Um, it will take you about 33, well, I should say exactly 33% more shops if you're looking specifically for two costs, uh, like you might be in the Zion Bastion comp. So let's say you would normally want to see 30 shops, which is 60 gold rolled, not counting buying units. Uh, you normally need to see 30 more shops to hit Zaya from whatever spot you're on. Instead, that will take 40 more shops instead of 30. So it will cost you 20 more gold. Um, and this is very situational. 20 gold is a lot. So very oftentimes, we'll not want to level to 7 and roll. However, of course, you can think of paying this 20 gold. Uh, for those of you who play the set with charms, you can think of paying this 20 gold to play Sex Bastion to gain temporary power. And if that causes you to win two rounds that you would have lost otherwise in stage four, therefore saving more than 20 HP, you're paying 20 gold to save more than 20 HP, that can be worth it. Um, it's situational game by game. Generally, I would recommend just committing to, on, to rolling on level six just because Paying 33 per, pay, you're basically paying a 33% tax on all of your future rolls until you hit uh, for the advantage of that 6 Bastion earlier power spike. 
Um, if you don't pay the extra tax, you might just hit in a couple rounds later. So, um, yeah, it's good to just know how much that costs. Sometimes you have to do it, uh, especially if you're playing something like Scuttle Puddle and you know you will hit a huge influx of Econ right when Neutrals hits. So you can kind of get the power spike during that stage that you wouldn't have otherwise because it's cheaper to level than it is to hit a 3-star. And then you hit on, let's say, 4-1 or 5-1. You hit right after Neutrals, kind of regardless, just because you get so much gold. That's one situation you can do it. But again, generally, level 6 for 2 cost reroll. And don't level until you hit. Um, another common inflection point, I would say, is looking for legendaries. This is not so common in the current meta, where you want just like one copy of a legendary. But in, before the B patch, this was really common with Yone. So you can see what your 5 cost odds are 4 times higher on level 9 than they are on level 8. However, this doesn't necessarily mean you should go to level 9. If you find yourself in a situation where, let's say it's 4-1, for some reason you have a ton of econ uh, from an augment or scuttle puddle or something like that, it's 4-1 and you have 100 gold. Um, actually, 100 is way too little. <laughs> let's actually say like you have like 120 and you're really looking for the Shione. Um, generally, it's recommended to roll on level 8 instead of level 9. Even though your shop odds are 4 times higher, you're going to have to spend some gold on buying units. So in reality, you're not actually going to roll that many times. Um, I would say being very, very generous, let's say you're only spending, uh, I, I said we start with 120 gold, so being really generous, let's say you're only spending 20 gold on units, let's, that's like buying, you know, 20 is not that much, that's say two Jarvins, one Yone, two Karmas, that's already 20 gold without even having a two star. Um, so again, this is being generous towards level nine. You would be use you would have a hundred gold used to level and roll, right? So after leveling, you would have twenty gold, twenty four gold left, which is twelve shops. Alternatively, if you use a hundred gold on level eight, that's fifty shops. So even though the odds are four times higher, you could see fifty shops instead of twelve shops, and you would actually have the same amount of chance of finding Yone. But of course, you have a much higher chance of actually hitting like Karma two, Jarvan two, and stabilizing your board. Um, Technically, hitting level 9 will give you better shop odds in the future for the rest of the stage. However, when you do this level 9 play, a lot of times you are going to have to roll to 0. And in that case, you're only making half as much gold as, you know, if you're rolling with 120 gold on 8, oftentimes you're going to be able to keep some gold in the bank. So, although you're getting better shops at level 9, you don't see as many of them because you won't have the luxury of making interest that you would from rolling on level 8. So I think this is a very, very common mistake I see where people kind of have 120 gold, they don't have a board, they go level 9, kind of for these comps like 7 Mighty Mech where you really need one legendary. And then it's a coin flip, obviously you might hit, but most likely your situation is going to be much worse than if you rolled on level 8. That being said, this video is about inflection points. If you had, let's say, 150 gold, now after leveling, you would still have 75 gold after leveling to 9. Now this is much more efficient to level. In this case, I would definitely level because that's enough gold to try to look for this board. And you're going to use so many more rolls more efficiently. And you can actually think of it as like, just to kind of picture it in your head, you can think of an even more extreme situation, right? Let's say we had... 300 gold. Um, now if we level, the actually leveling is kind of a small part of our overall gold, right? We would still have more than 200 gold left that we can use efficiently compared to 300 gold that we could use kind of inefficiently, right? So um, I would say if you can go level 9 with like 75 gold left, you absolutely should. Um, however, if you can go level 9 with like less than 50, I would uh, just roll on 8 instead. And then that will let you Save gold, make interest, and then you will still go level 9 at the end of the game anyway. Um, level 9 versus level 10 is another common situation that I think I see a lot of players make a mistake where they just level. Um, I think leveling is kind of the easier thing to do as well, APM-wise, because 
I think a pretty common situation is let's say we have like enough to see maybe um, 10 shops, so 20 gold. So let's say we have 114 gold. This might be on stage 7 1, for example. We're level 9 and we have maybe a fast 9 board. Let me just pull up an example here. Um, let's say we're playing this Juggernaut Twisted Fate comp. So this is 9 units right here. Uh, let's just say we have everything to start. So we have Lee Sin 2, we have Set 2, we have Braum 2, we have everything 2, we have TF2, except for Zyra. And now it's stage 7 1, 6 1, and we have 114 gold, right? I see a lot of players level in this spot. Um, you do get to play an extra unit, which is nice. So Shen will give you like the crew and Bastion. Um, but now, after we level, we have enough to see. We need 10 more gold to even buy two Zyras. So we, we can only see, if we have 30 gold after leveling, we can only see 10 shops, right? So 10 shops, and the odds are double compared to level 9. Alternatively, we could roll that 100 gold on level 9. So instead of seeing 10 shops, we do get to play the Shen, seeing 10 shops and gambling for the Zyra. Instead, we could see 50 shops. We're almost guaranteed the Zyra 2 at this point. We won't have the Shens, so we're down a unit. However, this line is just much, much, much stronger because if you level, of course, there's a chance you hit the Zyra 2, but most likely you're adding the Shen. Your board doesn't become that much stronger compared to if you roll 50 gold on 9, you get the Zyra 2. That is a lot stronger. In fact, sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll hit early enough that you will still have enough gold left over to go 10 anyway, despite using your gold a little bit less efficiently on level 9. So uh, these are some things to think about when deciding when to level on roll versus rolling on the level you're currently on. That's going to wrap it up for this video on shop odds and flexion points. If you have any comments or questions, join the Discord. And thanks for watching.